Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Even though in yesterday's video, I didn't know what day it was. Today I know what day it is. And uh, we've actually got a lot of stuff to talk about because this just kind of slipped into the uh, notifications this morning. And, <laughs> and it went unnoticed by me for half a day. Uh, I've been grinding out a bunch of free orbs as best I can. The, uh, the Grand Hero Battle Quests are now my, my only source of orb income, so... I really want Legendary Lin, man. That's all I want. Um, anyway, that's not what this video is about. Today, we're going to be talking about the update coming in 2.5. And it says early May, but there's some info in the details that tells us that it's probably going to be next week. Uh, and it's probably going to be the 8th or 9th, depending on your... Uh, Time zone. So uh, that that's that's just the shorthand. You didn't come here for the shorthand. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty here. So the first and foremost, uh, the arena update. The uh, the arena is changing for the better, I think. Um, so <laughs> evidently they're changing it because they want more people to play it. And I'm like, people don't play the arena. That's weird. Uh, so the chain bonus will no longer be seven streak. It'll be five. So uh, you get. Five consecutive wins, that, that's it. It's no longer seven, which makes it a little bit easier uh, because the uh, the arena swords or the dueling swords or whatever they're called, uh, those usually only, res well, they, they usually, they only ever restore uh, three attempts at a time. So, to burn through an entire run, you'd have to use, you know, at least two. Here you just have to use one, and you still got one left over, which is super duper nice. Um, so you can now also earn rewards for consecutive victories called Chain Rewards. This is kind of new. Uh, they include orbs, uh, <laughs> which, which include orbs. These rewards, which include orbs, can be earned once per season. So clearly, clearly the developers know that like we're just in it for the orbs and we're just here to summon waifus and that's what it is. I, I like that they're so self-aware about it. Because as you can see, there are four other reward options down there in the little graphic. But they don't talk about that. <laughs> they say, which include orbs? Clearly they have their priorities and I applaud them for that. Uh, so, uh, the, other, the other thing is that we're not going to have um, the... Oh, uh, what is it? Uh, the defense rewards, right? Yeah. So, uh, with the addition of chain rewards, offense awards, rewards will no longer uh, be given out, but the, by, uh, but the number of awards you can receive will increase overall. So, they're kind of, I don't know, they're making the defensive team a little less important. I never really cared about it. Honestly, with 3,000 feathers per week, like, that's pretty dope. Uh, and even if you focused really hard on arena offense and defense, you'd probably only be getting about that anyway. Uh, maybe a like maybe 2,000 feathers less, maybe if you're really solid at it. Um, and I mean, you get a, you get an orb, you get some refining stone, you get all that good stuff. So I think that's a pretty big win. Uh, you only have to do five in a row, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, additionally, we're getting a Tempest Trials kind of buff here, where bonus allies will now receive stat boosts, which include HP of plus 10 and plus four in every other stat. So. Uh, it also goes on to say that uh, the boost doesn't affect the evaluation of your team's strength, so that doesn't really impact your score necessarily. Uh, and your opponent, when you're facing them in the arena, their bonus units will not receive any kind of stat buff. It's just your own. Um, so that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. It, it makes it a little bit easier. They kind of nerfed it, right? So they made it, uh, they made it so you only had to do five in a row. So if you're free to play and you're, you don't want to use any dueling swords or whatever, um, before it would take you a good three days to get through the entire thing. Now you can do it in two uh, or one if you want to, you know, bop a dueling swords, whatever you want to do. Uh, to implement these improvements, this is where it gets juicy, fam. Uh, <laughs> arena and Arena Assault will be unavailable starting on the 8th until the 9th. So for an entire day, they're shutting it down from 3 a.m. to 2.59 a.m. Um, so, you know, you can't do quests or anything like that. That's what that says. Uh, the Arena and Arena Assault will reopen on 5.9.18 at 3 a.m. Afterwards, seasons 
will run for the usual period starting on Tuesday at 3 a.m. and ending on Monday. So the length of the season is not changing. It's still going to be, you know, the, 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 the week-long thing. Um, you just don't have to do as many consecutive wins, which is really nice. And you get rewarded for playing a relatively free mode in the game, which is awesome. I'm very pleased about this. This makes me very happy. Um, I really want to get over that 18 hiccup that I've been on for so long. It's really upsetting. <laughs> so I keep bouncing between 18 and 19. It's, it's annoying. Um, all right. So are we ready? Because there's, there's some big stuff happening right now. There's some big stuff happening right here, fam. Are you ready for this? Weapon refinery. We're getting some new weapons. Uh, rum fire. I want to say it's rum fire. Uh, that is going to be applied to Claire Highborn Flyer. We don't really have any alts of Claire, so it's just, just regular Claire. Uh, at the five star, you can be you can learn it. Uh, and Camilla's axe. Camilla is getting an upgrade. Uh, I think she had Brave Axe before. Uh, so the hero can now learn uh, Brave Axe. Camilla Bewitching Beauty. That's that's the only one, and that's the only Camilla alt that has an axe. So there you go. Um, note: Rumphia and Camilla's axe can both be upgraded in the weapon refinery after they have been obtained. So they can uh, they can both be upgraded as well. It sounds like so you can get them now when you have them at five star, which I have like a plus three. Claire? So that Claire, Claire is my new project. And it also looks like they're going to be able to be refined uh, in the normal sense. So, uh, again, you have to go through Book 1, Chapter 13, Ride of Blades in order to do that. Yada, yada, yada. I now know exactly what three units will be in this thumbnail. And one of them is including Corrin. Because now, now, we can finally refine Yato, which is amazing, right? Uh, Corrin has been needing a, a weapon refinery for so, so long. <laughs> like, much like Roy, he was getting he was getting uh, the, the brush a little bit, um, but Roy finally got it, and now we got Corrin. Corrin's on the field. Uh, I'll, I'll be interested to see, like, what it can be. Um, I, I, maybe, maybe they'll implement Distant Counter, like, all the other weapons have some kind of like distant counter involved in them uh in terms of like xander and rioma so i mean that's that's pretty cool uh i would i mean corn dude corn's getting a buff man all you corn fans out there here's, here's your chance male corn fans i should say um yes so weapon refineries great camilla claire uh corn all all the sea characters <laughs> They're in the thumbnail, and they are getting weapon refineries. Great. Uh, improvement to Tap Battle. Tap Battle, you know that. The Rhythm Heaven mode in <laughs> Fire Emblem. Uh, so Tap Battle will receive the following improvements. Are you ready? Extra stages will appear starting from the fourth day of the event. Dope. If you clear a stage, your heroes can gain hero merit based on the results. Fantastic. It gives you an effort to actually perform well, which is something that game mode was missing up until this point. Um, because this is kind of a way to farm free, fat, free, free hero merit. Kind of. I mean, to be fair, the grand hero, the stuff, like, that's way easier uh, to do that. And it's also free. It probably doesn't take as long if you have the right units. So for what that's worth, I don't know. It, it's an incentive and it's in the right direction, so we, we, we take what we can get. We take what we can get. Uh, preview notifications for the next stage will now appear. Sweet. Um, I don't know what that means exactly, but uh, it doesn't sound like it's going to bother me whatsoever, so that's cool. Rival Domains is getting an update. Hot diggity dang. Uh, enemies will no longer attack immediately after warping. Great. So you don't, I mean, it's making it easier. I was never really bothered by this because like, you know, I, nine times out of 10, I have the danger field up, which is like where enemies can attack. So I, I know where they can go and I'm like constantly thinking about that. It's not really anything that bothered me before. In my opinion, this is just one more thing that kind of nerfs it and it will encourage other people to play it. And so that's fine. I'm good with that. I just do it for the rewards anyway. So that just got easier. I'm all, I'm, I'm all good with it in my book. 
Up until now, enemies were randomized, but now the same enemies will appear each time. Okay. Fair enough. I know a lot of people had, like, a complaint about that, how they feel like uh, their brigades were kind of just getting countered, if you will. <laughs> so, that's kind of nice. It's good to see that. Um, enemy brigades will now include 40 characters instead of 20. So, if you've ever gone through the first 20 in, uh, in this game mode, they just kind of recycle, right? Um, so... As they say, this means the same character will generally appear fewer times per battle, which is nice. Because um, there's one thing that's always really hard to beat, and then once you're once you're one unit, because your units, you know, they are what they are. Once they get popped, you're kind of... It is what it is. Um, Rival Domains is kind of a cool game mode, I guess. I do it for the rewards. I do everything for the rewards because I am free to play as much as possible. Uh, which means I sink a lot of time into game modes like this. And they basically just kind of made it easier and made it a little bit better uh, visually and play playability-wise. So uh, I'm I'm good with it. I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. Uh, tutorial and playability improvements. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Sink your teeth in this, fam. Improvements are being made to help new players ease into Fire Emblem Heroes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking the other day, like back. <laughs> Back when back when Heroes started up, like all you had to really worry about was the the weapons triangle. That was it. And then like the 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 stronger units were obviously better. But now there's so much customization that's available. It's like you can pretty much do whatever you want. Uh, like you don't have to like sink a bunch of orbs into like getting an awesome unit. Like you can build up a plus ten five star or four star. You know it's <sighs> and then the refineries and the blessings and oi. Um, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're also giving out a thanks for playing gift, it's highlighted in yellow, to players who started playing from version 2.4 and earlier, allowing you to improve your heroes in the same way as in the new tutorial. Let's break down what that means. The thanks for playing gift will include a four star hero Takumi wildcard, a set of materials allowing you to unlock the potentials, uh, potential of initial allies to four star which means you get 13,200 feathers uh, 60 scarlet badges 30 azure badges 30 verdant badges and 60 transparent badges so all the all the free units you get in the beginning uh, Alphonse Sharina um, Anna and now Takumi who is going to be replacing Virian uh, new players will be able to bump them up to four star it sounds like which is which is pretty cool um, oh my, uh, 20,432 Scarlet Shards, 10,216 Azure Shards, 10,216 Verdant Shards, and 20,432 Transparent Shards. So they're, they're even leveling them up, which is crazy. <laughs> so you could basically start out with like four star heroes, which I guess is nice. I mean, again, it's, it's easing it more into that kind of free to play mode, which is cool. Um, and I'm glad they're doing this for newer players, uh, cause, you know, if, if the game wants to get bigger, you gotta invite new people. And I feel like a lot of the people who jumped on the Fire Emblem Heroes bandwagon initially, like within the first couple months, were longtime fans of the franchise. Uh, unless there's like a really, <laughs> unless there's like a really underground scene for like mobile games where people just focus on mobile games. And I saw this and they were like, what's Fire Emblem? Let's play it. I don't know. That could be a case too. I feel like a lot of players kind of knew what they were doing going in, and it was easy to kind of adapt. So this is a nice way to uh, to kind of encourage new players into the scene, which is neat. Uh, the gift will be distributed starting on 5-9. So I think the new update will... I think this is pretty much the com uh, uh, confirmation, that's the word, uh, that we'll be, we'll be getting that on 5-9 at 3 a.m. Again, this is an Eastern time. I'm on the East Coast of the of the state, so this is this is for me. This... Focus on your own time zone, you West Coasters over there at midnight getting lucky. Uh, so the, the change for current players. I'm ready. Uh, if a hero is defeated during battle, they will no longer lose any of the XP or SP earned in battle. Thank you. Thank you. Grinding is hard when that happens. Uh, the amount of XP and SP you can earn from clearing previously cleared maps will no longer be reduced by half. Dope. Uh, they introduced other game modes... 
like the the training maps and stuff like that that kind of made it so that you got more experience every time so i don't know why the other maps like they would reduce it that to me was just a way of discouraging people from playing it because you're using these other modes to farm xp and sp anyway so <laughs> i never really knew why they did that but i mean i, I get it. they wanted you to use your stamina on other stuff i get it um Great, so just overall improvements all around. A uh, new feature will be added that lets you change how movement and action animations are shown during battle for any AI-controlled characters. Okay, cool. This new option under settings is called Faux Ally Auto Battle Movement. Uh, when set to guided, the movements and actions of characters during battle will be shown in greater detail. Auto battle is dumb. I don't know if many of you guys like farm with auto battle on. I do a lot. Uh, it's it's ninety percent of what I'm doing with Tempest Trials when that happens, and auto battle is some of the dumbest stuff. <laughs> auto battle is so dumb. I'll have like a plus ten tiki over here, but I have a cavalry unit who's at like three hit points, and it'll just automatically go into like a hellfire of enemy attack while my tiki's just down here chilling and can tank like relatively anything. I'm like. What? Why? It's dumb. All the battles dumb. Anyway, uh, yes. So starting with version 2.5, the setting will be guided by default. Great. Uh, you can select simple option if you wish to decrease the amount of time taken by enemy movement and actions. Uh, the settings for foe ally auto battle movement will not be reflected if auto no animation is set to on. Well, that doesn't really affect me then, because I never really have. No animation on, so oh well. Uh, new players, all you noobs out there, if you're ready. Well, I mean, I don't know why you'd be watching this video if you were a new player, but uh, like I said earlier, you are going to uh, be getting four story units instead, which is pretty cool. Uh, Anna, Alphonse, Sharina, uh, Rye, Matthew, Virian. Uh, those are all going to be four star, I guess. The first hero you obtain will now be Takumi instead of Virian. Uh, and I'm assuming that's also going to be a four star. <laughs> didn't say it up there, but I'm, I'm fairly confident. Like that's why we're all getting a four star Takumi. Uh, Virian, the archer will now become your ally at the same time as Rai and Matthew. So there you go. Um, additional explanations about game controls will be added to the tutorial guide. Uh, all strata on the training tower will now unlock after clearing prologue part three. Fancy. The all the battle button will automatically be available on the battle screen. Great. Other adjustments, including adjustments to enemy strength, will be implemented. Uh, all right. So this is we're at the we're at the very bottom now. Other improvements. Movies will no longer trigger when summoning certain heroes. Summoning movies uh, can still be found in movies under FAC, etc. in the miscellaneous menu uh, if you summon one of those heroes. So they just don't show up anymore, I guess. Again, they're streamlining the summoning thing. They're like, we're going to give them more orbs. <laughs> we're going to do away with the with the cutscenes while they're summoning so they can summon more faster. I, the developers know. The developers have their priorities, and I respect them for that. Uh, additional options will be available in Sacred Seal Forge. A uh, new setting option to stop the music from changing during an enemy's turn will be added. That's nice. I like that, actually. Uh, it really disrupts the flow of the soundtrack, you know? And I don't often play with sound on, but it's it's flustering to just have, like, the enemy music, like, cut in like that. It's dumb. Uh, mini units and catalog of heroes will appear with updated weapons. Sweet! And support for Android's 8.0 adaptive icons will be added. Great. Uh, so that's the update in a nutshell, I guess. We went over that in great detail, and that was super duper long, and I am so sorry about that. But uh, hopefully that gives you like a pretty good indication about what's coming. Uh, new players are getting really, 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 really lucky. <laughs> Do you guys remember when it cost us stamina just to like use like feathers and stuff? Like it was crazy. Stamina, stamina used to be uh, used for like literally everything. It was so dumb. Um, oh, learning skills. Like, learning and equipping skills cost stamina back in the day. So awful. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, so this is the 2.5 update. 
I'm excited about the arena change. I'm really excited about the weapon refinery update thingy that we're getting. Um, I think they're making a big step in the right direction towards everything. And that is, that is really, really cool. And that's really, really good. And, um, to be frank, IS doesn't have to do this, but they're doing it and the developers are doing it. And that's awesome. They're, they're improving the game for the better. They're, they're giving the game quality of life boosts for players, which is always really nice because that's how you get somebody to continue playing your game. You make it enjoyable and you stick with it. Uh, so that's, that's really, really cool. That's really cool. They're setting it up so, you know, it, it's not one of those games that just kind of fades out of existence because it's just too repetitive. They're constantly making good updates and changes. Uh, and most importantly, they are listening to the player base, which is awesome. Um, that's this, this is not coincidence. This is definitely listening to your player base, and that is amazing. Because uh, I've been involved in a lot of gaming communities that don't do that. And Heroes seems to kind of take the lead in terms of, like quality of life for their for their gaming people so that's really awesome anyway guys let me know in the comments what you are most excited for with the update coming our way again on the 8th slash 9th we should have it um i'm excited man i'm pumped this is, this is really cool i'm excited to get claire that's what i'm most excited about i mean i have claire i'm excited to get claire updated and like in there i'm pumped thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you haven't i know this video was super duper long there was a lot to talk about, so apologies. Uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. We're almost to YouTube partnership. You guys are all amazing. Thank you so much for helping me accomplish that. I will catch you guys next time.